How is it that two individuals can have totally different symptoms, yet both are suffering from long COVID? One might feel like they've run a marathon every day without even leaving their bed, while another struggles to remember simple tasks or feels persistent chest pain. Today we delve into the typical and not-so-typical symptoms of long COVID, a condition that persists well beyond the initial infection with SARS-CoV-2 and continues to baffle scientists and healthcare professionals alike. Long COVID, also known as post-COVID syndrome, is defined by symptoms lasting at least two months and not explained by an alternative diagnosis, occurring at least three months after the initial COVID-19 infection. These symptoms can be diverse and affect various aspects of a person's health, often interfering with daily activities and quality of life. One of the most common and debilitating symptoms of long COVID is fatigue, reported by 37.2% of individuals in a study conducted 6 to 12 months after their initial infection. This isn't just feeling tired. It's an overwhelming sense of exhaustion that doesn't improve with rest and severely impacts daily functioning. The Fatigue Assessment Scale, a tool used to measure fatigue, reveals that many long COVID sufferers score above 22, indicating substantial fatigue with some even reaching scores above 35, suggesting extreme fatigue. Another prevalent symptom is neurocognitive impairment, affecting about 31.3% of those studied. Often referred to as brain fog, this includes difficulties with memory, concentration, and executive function. Tasks that once seemed simple become challenging, and individuals may find themselves forgetting words, losing their train of thought or struggling to multitask. This cognitive impairment can make it difficult to return to work or manage daily responsibilities, significantly impacting one's quality of life. Chest symptoms are also common, reported by 30.2% of participants. These can range from persistent cough and shortness of breath to chest pain and tightness. Such symptoms not only cause physical discomfort, but can also induce anxiety making everyday activities like walking or climbing stairs daunting tasks. For some, these symptoms might mimic those of a heart attack, leading to additional stress and frequent medical visits. Anxiety and depression have been noted in 21.1% of long COVID sufferers. The mental health impact of long COVID can be profound, with individuals experiencing persistent feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and anxiety. Sleep disorders often accompany these symptoms, creating a vicious cycle of poor sleep and worsening mental health. The constant battle with an unpredictable illness can exacerbate these feelings, making it essential to address mental health alongside physical symptoms. Less frequent but still significant are symptoms related to taste and smell disorders affecting 23.6% of individuals. These sensory disturbances can lead to a loss of appetite and weight loss, as the pleasure derived from eating diminishes or food tastes and smells abnormal. For some, these changes can persist for months, leading to nutritional deficiencies and impacting overall health. Other symptoms include headache and dizziness, making up 16.8% musculoskeletal pain at 13.9% gastrointestinal issues such as nausea and abdominal pain at 7%. These symptoms further complicate the recovery process, adding layers of discomfort and distress. Musculoskeletal pain can make physical activity challenging, while gastrointestinal issues can lead to dehydration and malnutrition. It's important to note that the severity and combination of symptoms can vary widely among individuals. For instance, some might experience severe fatigue and neurocognitive impairment but have no respiratory issues, while others might have persistent chest pain and shortness of breath but feel mentally sharp. 
This variability makes it challenging to develop a one-size-fits-all treatment approach and highlights the need for personalized care. Interestingly, certain symptom clusters like smell or taste disorders often appear independently, while others such as fatigue and neurocognitive impairment frequently co-occur. This interconnection suggests that long COVID might not be a single condition, but a collection of related syndromes triggered by the virus. Understanding these clusters can help healthcare providers develop targeted treatments and support for patients. Demographic factors also play a role in the prevalence and severity of long COVID symptoms. Women and those who experienced more severe acute COVID-19 infections are more likely to report persistent symptoms. Additionally, pre-existing conditions like obesity, smoking, and chronic health issues can increase the risk and severity of long COVID. The impact of long COVID on general health and working capacity is significant. On average, individuals report only about 89.5% recovery in their general health and 89.3% recovery in their work capacity compared to their pre-infection state. Fatigue and neurocognitive impairment are particularly detrimental, with fatigue alone accounting for a 2.27% loss in general health and a 2.32% loss in working capacity. This reduction in functional capacity can lead to financial strain and emotional distress as individuals struggle to maintain their livelihoods and support their families. Understanding and addressing long COVID requires a multidisciplinary approach involving not only medical treatment, but also psychological support and rehabilitation programs. As research continues, it is crucial to develop effective strategies to manage and mitigate the long-term effects of this complex condition. Integrative care models that address both physical and mental health are essential in providing comprehensive support for long COVID patients. In addition to medical and psychological interventions, lifestyle modifications can play a crucial role in managing long COVID symptoms. Patients are encouraged to engage in regular gentle exercise to improve physical stamina and reduce fatigue. Nutritional support, including a balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals, can help mitigate some of the nutritional deficiencies caused by altered taste and smell. Mindfulness practices and stress management techniques can also support mental health and improve overall well-being. Research into long COVID is ongoing, with scientists exploring the underlying mechanisms that contribute to the persistence of symptoms. Studies are investigating how the virus affects various organ systems and why some individuals are more susceptible to long-term effects. This research is critical in developing targeted treatments and improving outcomes for those affected. To understand the full spectrum of long COVID, let's explore some real-life stories. Take Maria, a 45-year-old teacher who, prior to COVID-19, was active and engaged in her community. After contracting the virus, she experienced mild symptoms and recovered at home. However, months later, Maria began feeling an overwhelming fatigue that left her unable to perform daily tasks. Despite getting plenty of sleep, she woke up exhausted and struggled to concentrate on her lesson plans. The once vibrant teacher now found herself relying on her family for basic chores and feeling isolated from her social circles due to her inability to participate in activities. Then there's John, a 55-year-old engineer who developed severe respiratory symptoms during his COVID-19 infection and required hospitalization. Even after being discharged, John continued to experience shortness of breath and chest pain. Simple activities like walking to the mailbox left him gasping for air. The persistent chest pain was so alarming that he made frequent trips to the emergency room, fearing he was having a heart attack. His ongoing health issues forced him to take an extended leave from work causing financial strain and adding to his stress. 
For both Maria and John, the road to recovery is long and fraught with challenges. Their stories highlight the diverse impact of long COVID and the need for a tailored approach to treatment. While Maria's primary struggle is with fatigue and cognitive impairment, John's issues are more focused on respiratory symptoms. Understanding these differences is key to providing effective care and support. One of the most intriguing aspects of long COVID is how it can affect individuals so differently. This variation might be due to several factors, including genetic predisposition, the severity of the initial infection, pre-existing health conditions, and even psychological factors. For instance, individuals with a history of mental health issues might experience more pronounced anxiety and depression symptoms post-COVID, while those with respiratory conditions might see a worsening of their lung function. The immune response to the virus is another critical factor in the development of long COVID. Some researchers believe that an overactive immune response during the acute phase of the infection might lead to lingering inflammation, which could explain the persistence of symptoms. This ongoing immune activation might affect various organ systems, contributing to the diverse symptom profile seen in long COVID patients. The nervous system is particularly vulnerable, which might explain the high prevalence of neurocognitive symptoms. Studies have shown that SARS-CoV-2 can enter the brain, potentially causing inflammation and damage to neural pathways. This could lead to the cognitive deficits and mental health issues reported by many long COVID sufferers. Similarly, the virus's impact on the cardiovascular system can result in prolonged symptoms like chest pain, palpitations, and shortness of breath. The psychosocial impact of long COVID cannot be underestimated. The uncertainty and chronic nature of the illness can lead to significant emotional and psychological distress. Many patients report feeling misunderstood or dismissed by healthcare providers, which can exacerbate feelings of isolation and anxiety. This highlights the need for compassionate care and validation of the patient's experience. Support groups and patient advocacy organizations play a crucial role in providing emotional support and practical advice to those suffering from long COVID. These communities offer a space for individuals to share their experiences, learn from others, and find solace in knowing they are not alone. The shared understanding within these groups can be incredibly therapeutic and empowering. Healthcare systems worldwide are grappling with how to best support long COVID patients. Multidisciplinary clinics that bring together specialists in pulmonology, cardiology, neurology, psychology, and physical therapy are emerging as effective models for managing the complex needs of these patients. These clinics provide comprehensive care plans tailored to the individual, addressing both the physical and mental health aspects of long COVID. Physical therapy can be particularly beneficial for those suffering from fatigue and musculoskeletal pain. Tailored exercise programs can help improve stamina and reduce pain, while occupational therapy can assist patients in adapting their daily routines to their current capabilities. For those with severe fatigue, energy conservation techniques and pacing strategies are essential tools for managing their condition. Cognitive rehabilitation is another crucial component of long COVID care. Techniques used in the management of other neurological conditions, such as brain injury or stroke, are being adapted to help long COVID patients improve their cognitive function. These might include memory exercises, problem-solving tasks, and strategies to enhance attention and focus. Nutritional support is also vital, especially for those experiencing taste and smell disorders. Dietitians can provide guidance on maintaining a balanced diet and suggest nutrient-dense foods to ensure adequate intake despite altered taste and appetite. In some cases, supplements might be necessary to address specific deficiencies. Psychological support is indispensable. Cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, has been shown to be effective in managing anxiety and depression while mindfulness-based therapies can help patients cope with chronic pain and stress. 
Providing patients with tools to manage their mental health can significantly improve their overall well-being and quality of life. Research into pharmacological treatments for long COVID is ongoing. Anti-inflammatory medications, antivirals, and immunomodulators are being investigated for their potential to alleviate symptoms. However, more studies are needed to determine their efficacy and safety in this patient population. Public health education is crucial in raising awareness about long COVID. Misconceptions and stigma around the condition can lead to patients feeling marginalized and unsupported. Educational campaigns can help increase understanding among the general public and healthcare providers, promoting empathy and proper care for those affected. Employers also have a role to play in supporting employees with long COVID. Flexible work arrangements, such as remote work or adjusted hours, can help individuals manage their symptoms while remaining productive. Providing access to mental health resources and encouraging a supportive workplace culture can make a significant difference in the lives of long COVID sufferers. Governments and health organizations need to allocate resources to long COVID research and support services. Funding for studies on the long-term effects of COVID-19 and the development of treatment protocols is essential. Additionally, establishing national registries to track long COVID cases can provide valuable data to inform public health strategies and resource allocation. In summary, long COVID manifests in a wide array of symptoms that can persist for months and significantly impact individuals' quality of life. From crippling fatigue and brain fog to respiratory issues and mental health struggles, the journey to recovery is long and arduous for many. Raising awareness and advancing research are essential steps toward providing the support and solutions needed for those battling long COVID. By understanding the diverse and complex nature of long COVID, we can better support those affected and work towards effective treatments and interventions. The road to recovery may be challenging, but with continued research, healthcare advancements, and compassionate care, we can hope to alleviate the burden of this condition and improve the lives of millions around the world. Whether through medical treatment, psychological support, lifestyle modifications or community engagement, every effort counts in the fight against long COVID. In conclusion, long COVID is a multifaceted condition that requires a comprehensive, patient-centered approach to care. By fostering collaboration among researchers, healthcare providers, patients, and policymakers, we can build a more robust response to this ongoing public health challenge. Understanding the unique experiences of each patient and tailoring interventions to their specific needs will be key to improving outcomes and helping individuals reclaim their lives. As we continue to learn more about long COVID, let us remain committed to supporting those affected and working towards a future where no one has to endure the lingering effects of this virus alone.